Dr. Yang, a lot of people have been asking about getting these antibody tests, wanting to get them. There's uh, drive-through versions, there's all different types. Is this something that they should be doing? There are a bunch of antibody tests out there um, with varying levels of, of legitimacy. Uh, some are just complete quackery that are people are using to make money. Um, others are, are honest attempts at trying to make a good test. The uh, FDA has rushed through approval on a few tests. Uh, the one that probably most people know about is the finger stick one that, that goes on a little uh, item that looks kind of like a preg pregnancy test mm -hmm. and, and actually uses the same technology as a pregnancy test. It's called a lateral flow assay. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, that one is probably only, from what I've heard from researchers looking at this, about 70% accurate. 70%? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the others may not be much better and it's, it's unfortunately been rushed through because of the huge demand and I think political pressures on the FDA to approve these tests. Is it worth it in terms of getting a test that's only 70% accurate? And I would say I would wait until there's a better test, right? So, and then the, the other thing that everybody's really excited or interested in is whether you can issue an immunity passport because you yes. have antibodies, right? The immune system has many parts to it, so it is not clear if antibodies predict that somebody can't get reinfected. We don't know if antibodies are the protective part of the immune response and whether having a positive antibody test means you're protected. Even if antibodies are protective, we don't know how long they last and we don't know how high the level needs to be because it, it's probably not black and white, not that yes or no that you have antibodies, but it, it may be, if the antibodies protect it, maybe you need a certain level or a certain amount. Or maybe actually even more scary, maybe a certain kind, right? So antibodies can be what are called neutralizing antibodies, so um, or they can be non-neutralizing antibodies. So, so there are lots of unknowns about the antibodies. It's very weird to see so much of my own blood. And this is just a little fraction of what will come out when I do the blood plasma donation, hopefully.